Hello guys, DarkestDeath37 here with my Assassin's Creed Brotherhood um, PS3 review. Um, to start off, I will say um, this was the weakest game of the series. I will say this. Um, 2 was my favorite, and then I liked the first one more than this game. But, what can you do? But this was a really good game, but I wonder if it's worth retail price compared to that I bought Assassin's Creed for $19.99 and Assassin's Creed 2 for 40 bucks, and this was $60. This was definitely not worth it, but the other two were, even though they are great games, they are worth retail price of what they would have been a long time ago. But the game story is pretty good. It pretty much actually goes right off where the second one ended. But it's weird how um, they changed things out of the nowhere. Um, the thing I noticed was that Desmond, well, I guess Ezio, I don't know why I call him Desmond, but his facial hair had got shaved. Anyways, so um, if anyone notices, this was just a little thing to me. Um, he had full facial hair in the second game, and then this, like the side burns, kind of, were like lighter, and he had like a goatee, and that was weird. And it was weird. They redid the scene with um, the god, I guess you could say. Um, they redid it. And I could barely understand her the second time around when they like redid it. Her voice, I couldn't tell what it was for some reason. But that don't really matter since I know what happened anyways in the second game. But it goes right out that and then Mario, you and Mario leave, and you fight a few uh, guards and stuff. But yeah, and I noticed they fixed um, the Altair armor, which is cool, but I wonder, is did they think everybody that played Assassin's Creed 2 is going to have the Altair armor? Which doesn't, which to me is an Altair armor because it's black and it's more fitted for SEO, anyways. But I don't know. But they made it in that he had the armor. So I'm guessing everybody should have had it. What if you had different armor than, I don't know. It just, it changes the experience for everyone. It's like, my game ended this way, but soon as I play the next one they changed it anyway and they changed all it looked the armor looks even nicer on this game for the time you do have it because you lose it later down the road but yeah uh, the story was uh, shorter than two but longer in the first one basically nine sequences and all the side quests obviously well I don't know, conquest side missions whatever um, so yeah, it wasn't as big as 2, obviously it was only in Rome, but in my PlayStation Magazine they yanged on about how big this game can be just because how big Rome is. For some reason, I feel like it was in one area the whole time, pretty much. Like, nothing I had to leave any place like that or to, like, actually travel, it just feels small, kind of. I know Rome's big and all that but it just felt small, that's all I'm saying because I could just travel building well mission to mission by on horse without loading that I've traveled somewhere else but uh, the missions are pretty basic like any other Assassin's Creed game there are good missions and there is annoying things like climbing stuff, I swear to god I hate this stuff sometimes when Ezio screws up and he falls down and then you have to restart where you climb even though you already point him in the direction you want it. it does get a little repetitive at times 
but yeah, um, the horse is slow, but I'm going to end this review with saying it's not worth the price, let's put it that way, but it is good for what it is. I suggest all you Assassin's Creed fans to buy this later or get it for Christmas at least. Just wait. It's not going to advance the story too, too much. It's, there's not even spoilers, really. I already told you Lucy Dodd will get stabbed. I'm not sure if she lives through it because they're just laying there and she's bleeding. But that's about the spoiler right there for you. Um, and, you know, Ezio's sister joined the Brotherhood and all that. But that's in, like, the memories and all that that you play through, but... Besides that, it's a good game, it's not worth the price, and it's the weakest of them all. It's good to play, but it's not worth what you pay for, so that makes it kind of bad. But I will give it a 7.8 out of 10. That is my final rating. So yeah, guys, that's my review of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood on the PS3. Peace.